You know, these, these hard tops now are bringing in big bucks. Super sound the bed. JPS Fred. Goddamn bang. Boxer from Boxer Bill, first of all. But this one right here is a 73 Caprice. I got it from um, Tony, the Dunk Whisperer. I am the Dunk Whisperer. This is Tony. I am the Dunk Whisperer. The Dunk Whisperer. We do this for a living and we transport as well. You buy it with us, we put it in your driveway. We put it in your backyard. We put it at your baby mama house. We put it wherever you want it. We provide super nice restoration projects from these to them however you want it and in between. Basically, it's original car. Pretty much unmolested. I'm the idiot that started putting wheels on it. But um, 27,000 miles, uh, no rust car, uh, original owner for a very long time. Uh, 400 car, non-AC car, uh, immaculate interior, crack-free dash, all the stuff that people look for. You know, these, these hard tops now are bringing in big bucks. It used to be back in the day, we'd get these cars for the low. Now it's time to change. It's, uh, you gotta, what you can get, hold on to. But by buying them like this, super crispy, it saves yourself a lot of time and headache from going to the body shop, for looking for parts. I mean, for everything, you know, just if you can afford it, go ahead and get you something crispy. Someday you could just get in and go, you know, slap some beat and some feet and slide. When it's clean like this, it's, it's only original ones. I mean, you could buy another car. A lot of these dunks right now are jigsaw puzzles. They got floor pens from one car, they got quarters from another car, and they wonder why the cars don't line up right. Because, you know, you got like five different cars to make one car. But when you buy them clean like this, you know, it's, it is what it is. I mean, me personally, I try not to sell shitty cars. They got a thousand people that's selling shitty cars right now. You get what you pay for at the end of the day. And unfortunately right now, this dunk shit, man. Nah. The average dunk coming out right now is a hundred plus. The key buzzer still works. The fastened seat belt shield still works. I mean, this car's got um the vanity mirror starting out instructions all the good stuff that people look for you know especially this if you got a crack free dash and you gonna f it up let me know i'll buy it from you that chocolate i really like how they did this in 73 you don't see this too much in 71. i'm gonna go ahead and shampoo the interior make it look nice and crispy tell me about this uh pattern on the dashboard oh that's a little aztec pattern but anytime you see a, a 70, uh, a dunk with um one AC vent, that's usually a non-AC car. But I'll just probably go ahead and put the uh, vintage air in here. But tell me about this pattern. What's this Aztec? The Aztec pattern, if you look at it, it kind of favors the Aztec, uh, you know, from the Indians and the, the, the mountains and all that, Machu Picchu type stuff. If you look at it, it's also in the door panels. You see the door panels? Right there, that print runs through. It's kind of a 73 thing, I'm guessing. And if you want your door to close good, come with the kid, I get you right. I get you, E1 all the time. Everything's nice and straight. All the belt trim lines up straight. It's not hanging high and low. I get you right. Skirts fit nice and tight. And the reason why I went with, um, with spinners in 20, what year we in? 2020. I went with spinners because I want to do something different, kind of retro. And truthfully, I was fed up of going in the garage and being disappointed. Every time you go in the garage, you fresh, you ready to go for a slide, you got to pump it up with a compressor. The three-piece wheels, the three-piece wheels, every time you go out, you got to be there like a fool, you know? But this, you just get in, turn the gas, and fly. I'll probably take those uh, gold bumper, I mean, the bumper guards I got in the trunk, or either this one, and I'll have them plated to match. I, I don't want to go too gold crazy. There's some called over golden. I don't want to have it looking too, too much. You just want little subtle hits. I'll probably see if I can get an NOS set of these because the gold leafing in them be really, really sharp. I'll put that on there and that's it. I'm not going to go too crazy with the gold. Yeah, well, you know what? It's only original ones. You know, you, there's people that's trying to duplicate original cars, but really when you see an original car, you know it. From the dust in the engine bay or the little marks on the seat or you know when it's original. You can't copy that. You could try and duplicate it, but you can't copy original. It's original, only once, that's it. 73, 
they came with these fastened seat belt things because I'm so used to 71 they don't have it but you just do that and you little click 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 clickety click click I mean this is the first time I ever wore a seat belt in a dunk but uh I guess it's a good thing it's, it's the story that goes with these cars bro tell me about the what you just told me about the blotches in the paint job oh like there's so many different imperfections in these older cars the original cars that makes them more valuable in my opinion that's part of the story of the car that's part of the history of the car you know what i'm saying like the little it's just like you know everything else it can't be perfect perfect shit, you know but look how pretty it is man look all these little small stuff it's nice seat belt holders those are things that people look forward to seeing you know you ever seen these seat belt holders before i've always had 71 so it's actually a privilege to find these shits because they don't come in 71s. Um, 73s, I, this is my second one and this is the first one that has it. Uh, the last one that I had wasn't so uh, uh, nice. It did have a big block though, but this 400 does what it gotta do. 400 is a good motor. If you look at all these, uh, look at all the dials and stuff, everything's bright orange. All on the shifter indicator, everything's bright orange. You got the chrome pinstripe. This car actually came with defog, which is a rare option. Look at how nice and bright the uh, cigarette lighter is. You know, stuff like that is what I look for. You can keep all that billet shit. The billet shit is nice, don't get me wrong, for a custom car, but on original, this is the type of shit you look for. A little dumb shit like this. You know, everything's nice and crispy. Everything looks like it's supposed to look. All the wood grain and stuff, nice and cherry. I'll probably go ahead and add tilt to this car and uh, vintage air conditioning. That'll probably be the only upgrades I do for now. Right now the prices are astronomical if you can afford one get into one but for a bucket dunk right now you're gonna pay between 7 to 15 and I'm talking about you need to go all in right now I only seen it getting more and more expensive and more and more rare remember they only made 4,571 uh, verts and who knows how many others but it's like a changeover right now. Us older guys, I'm, I know I'm not gonna pay no 40, 50,000 for no stock car, but people that's getting that new money, that fast money, that's, it is what it is. They're gonna jump into that dunk because this is it right now. This is our time. All them older guys, the Mopar guys, the Chevelle guys, they want that shit and they were paying for it. But this is what we want. We want dunks. I don't know about anybody else, but I ain't gonna slide in nothing else but a dunk. You might catch me in the Grand National, but that's it.
Uh oh. We're gonna do it for all the dope boys out there. Hold up, hey. Say what? Hold up, PJ, DJ Train. Hey.